Hello, my name is Michael Matheson. I'm the author of a new book called God Particle Physics for Dummies. And this presentation is going to be based on that book. And you can get it at bestaudiblebooks.com. And I send you there because we have a connection to the Audible book of a uh, department of Amazon where you can get a book, an Audible book quite easily and uh, listen to it as you play or work or exercise on your MP3 player, your iPod or iPad or whatever it is you use to listen to uh, music and that kind of thing. Uh, people seem to like this method these days, but you can also get a print book or an ebook for Kindle or any other ebook reader that you have at bestaudiblebooks.com. Now, what we're going to be talking about is the tree of life, how you got to the place that you are in your life right at the this particular moment, whether you're black, white, tall, short, fat, skinny, uh, old or young, everything that you are in your life has been brought about by the God particle field and the evolution of life over the past 14 billion years. What happened before 14 billion years ago, we don't know. We don't have the means to go back and look any further than that right now. Someday we might, but right now we can barely see back to the beginnings of time at the Big Bang. And at that time, what happened was the God particle, it's actually known by scientists as the Higgs boson, but it's more uh, appropriate to call it by what it really does in the world. It spreads God's will all over the universe, and that's why most people like to call it the God particle. And it was created in the first trillionth of a trillionth of the first second of the Big Bang. And we know this because everything in the universe, no matter where it is, all acts the same. They're all, every part of the universe that we can see, and, that, and parts that cannot possibly communicate with each other, because uh, they're so far apart and moving apart so fast, uh, had to have been done in, by, in the first trillionth of a trillionth of a second. All the information that the universe needed, this is scientific fact was created in the first trillionth of a trillionth of a second and it was done in the god particle field by the, you know in the god particle the, the god particle field was created in in that space of time because that's what gives definition to every other piece of the universe so down at the timeline below you see 14 billion years ago the big bang taking place and then what happened after that, again, in the first trillionth of a trillionth of a second, is the God particle field is created. And it lasted for probably thousands of years as the only thing that was created because the universe was so hot. And then as it cooled down over the next 10,000, 100,000 years and more, the God particle is able to influence the creation of everything else and what we call the baryonic particles. These are the subatomic particles like the proton and the neutron and the electron and the quarks. All the things that go into making up an atom. They cannot exist as we know them without the God particle field being there, giving them their mass. Everything that matters is, is matter created by the God particle field. So first it's the baryons that evolve after the first 10,000 years or so. And then atoms are able to form because of the baryonic material that's influenced by the God particle field to exist. And the atoms, as we all know, looking back on your high school physics, creates the elements, the simplest forms of any kind of thing out there like gold and silver and oxygen and nitrogen and uh, platinum and things like that, uh, iron, uh, uh, boron, um, uh, uh, things that we see in the uh, physical universe are all created by the elements that are created by the atoms that are created by the baryons that are created by the God particle field. So that the elements create the matter in the world. And that's what the matter becomes matter because of the God particle field. Without the God partic particles, you cannot have matter as we know it today anyway. And with matter, you have the stars evolving about 10 million years ago, 10 million years after the Big Bang. And then 100 million years, we have stars that cluster into groups because of gravitational forces. And those forces continue to this day, of course, and the, they, that causes the galaxies to form. And then after the galaxies are formed, the planets can form from the dust that that's left over. And that's how the Earth is formed, about four, about four and a half, a uh, billion years ago, the Earth is created from the dust in our in our galaxy, a part of the galaxy known as our solar system now, where several planets were created. But as far as we know, the Earth is the only one that creates life. So about three and a half billion years ago, the first uh, protogenic forms of life 
exist and they come to be from the organic materials that are that are created on the earth and who knows some people think it was a, a lightning bolt that came down from the sky and and it triggered the uh, the existence of life from these organic chemicals but somehow one celled animals just came to being now we know all this from the fossil record the fossils are are uh, uh, things that have existed on this planet and then are solidified in stone, ossified. And uh, they become, uh, they exist for millions and even billions of years in the rock evidence. And that's what a fossil is. From this we know that the fishes started to evolve from these first one-celled animals and then multi-celled animals and then simple, simple animals that evolved into fishes about 500 million years ago. And at about 475 million years ago, the plants begin to be seen. And then insects are found at minus at about 400 million years ago. Reptiles are, are evolved out of this uh, primordial life about 300 million years ago. We all know about the dinosaurs and how they died out 65 million years ago because of a meteor strike and that was not a random strike by the way and because they weren't they weren't supposed to exist anymore because mammals were uh, were or were supposed to exist and that's what we are evolved from the mammals coexisted with the reptiles but they never would have become much with these giant lizards eating them and devouring them and stomping on them all day long and that's why the reptiles had to go so mammals came and, and evolved over millions of years 200 million years ago and up to about 12 million years ago they they evolved into the hominids the first predecessors of the of the of, of human beings and that's about 12 million years ago and then then humans started the, the part of the, the human branch that we know of as homo sapiens us our type of human uh, evolved out of this line about 200,000 years ago and it came from again from hominids about 5 million years ago and then homo habilis evolved out of them these are creatures that are starting to look more like us they're starting to walk upright in the savanna instead of living in the trees like the like the primates that they descended from and then homo erectus a distinct species that walked upright all the time and uh, hardly ever went back into the trees to live and that's where we are descended from also our neanderthals that coexisted with us uh, evolved about 600,000 years ago and then we killed them out by the way about uh, uh, 60,000 years ago in Europe and then 200,000 years ago was our, our branch again homo sapiens so that's how we evolved from the primates and several steps and of course I've left out thousands and thousands of steps in in probability events but I'm just highlighting the big ones about how we got here and this is the whole point of the of the god particle evolution somehow that we get to modern man about 200,000 years ago and then about 100 this this is all happening in Africa that's where the fossil evidence is we don't have any evidence of of uh, modern man in any other part of the world other than Africa and then about 100,000 years ago we do find our ancestors moving and migrating into Europe uh, and again they're pursuing food and uh, climate and better ways of life and getting away from the rat race and too many other people competing with so they they move into Europe about a hundred thousand years ago and then about seventy thousand years ago following the food and the opportunity so forth and getting away from all the competition and and war and and God knows what else they wound up in, wound up in the Middle East and about sixty thousand years ago they migrated to India and about 50,000 years ago they made it to China and about 40,000 years ago they got on rafts they built some primitive rafts and floated off to the South Pacific Islands of which there are thousands uh, Australia is one of them New Zealand and Japan and all of the islands of the South Pacific eventually Hawaii and then uh, and then about 20,000 years ago they made it all the way to the Americas and uh, and, the, and we all know about how the Indians and the primitive what we call Indians uh, they're actually the Native Americans all up and down North and South America uh, were here before the Europeans uh, the, who finally discovered the uh, the American continent uh, just a few hundred years ago but that's how you came to be uh, you're descended from one of those groups uh, most likely or one of the ones that I've left out for brevity and uh, so you were born at one particular time uh, in the past few years and you are also being influenced by the God particle that is 
physically creating choices, laws of probability for the events in your life every second of every day. And the proof of that is your parents are the first ones to start making choices for you. And your DNA comes half from your father and half, half of your DNA comes from your mother, half of it from your father, and that's what creates you. And so their decisions are definitely creating you. These, are decision, these decision trees keep on going as far as the schools that are chosen for you or that you even choose at an early age. And you develop uh, a, lot of the, a lot of your brain and a lot of your mind, a lot of your consciousness, most, all of it. It comes from your school, your parents, your mentors, the teachers that you like the best, that you learn the most from. And then later on in life, after you graduate from the school system, you start making job choices and career choices. And those are, are the major influences on your life. And a lot of that has to do with the influence of the God particle and how it's influencing other people and other events to happen in your life. Family and friends come into the picture and they make choices. They help you make decisions. And your decision choices and your probabilities expand again and again. Uh, and, it, and they're also influenced by the books that you read and the movies that you see. And so the future is a combination of all of these things, how you feel about your parents and what you learned in school, the mentors that you valued the most highly, the job choices that you made, the things that you were going to do to make a living, uh, the family and friends that you chose or who chose you, all of these books and movies, etc. All the influences of, of your life are coming at you every day and thousands of events and micro events and they're all influenced by the God particle field and how do I know that because they influence everything else uh, and now, now to prove that let's just run the clock back let's run the movie back here's the future you're going to make decisions the minute you finish this video about what you're going to do with your life and other decisions are going to be made for you and again that you're being influenced by the books and movies that you read and the family and friends that you had the jobs that you chose and the career choices the mentors the people that you loved the schools that you went to the things you learned there the parents that you had that became you and the, and you became where you are because of the migration all around the world from into the americas or into the south pacific or into china or into india or into the mid east all these life events are millions and millions of choices that are being made by people all over the planet at, at any given time uh, europeans came from out of africa and that's modern man and modern man be evolved from the primitive Homo erectus and then the Homo habilis and then the hominids that are barely more than apes and the hominids are trace their their lineage back to to the mammals and the uh, mammals coexisted with reptiles and we coexisted with insects we coexisted with plants and we were all evolved from fishes that that were the first forms of life about three billion years ago and that's all all created by the pro protogenic forms of life, the bacteria and the uh, one-celled animals that are created first. By the way, half of your DNA is still formed by the, you inherited uh, half of your DNA from the first forms of life, bacteria and viral DNA forms half of your DNA. You could actually chop off half of your DNA, you would still be you because the, as far as we know, the bacterial and, and uh, viral DNA that you have in your DNA doesn't serve it does serve a purpose but we don't know what it is but it's, it shows that we do go all the way back not only to the fishes but all the way back to the first forms of life three and a half billion years ago and how did that start because earth was formed and the earth was formed as the planets were formed in our solar system because we are in a galaxy and the galaxies formed out of the clusters of stars the stars were able to form because of the matter that was made by the elements and the elements evolved out of the atoms and the atoms came out of this baryonic material the subatomic particles and they are all created by the god particle field and are influenced to this day by the same god particle field that is still around us and expanding as the universe expands it's expanding with the expansion of the god particle field without that there is no universe there is no expansion there is nothing there is no you and your future depends on your understanding this and that's the tree of life and that's where you're at and it all descends out of the god particle field that was created in the first trillionth of a trillionth of the first second of the creation of the universe in what's known as the big bang 14 billion years of evolution in just a few minutes to learn more, and it is very important that you learn more,
because we were at a crossroads in our evolution as a society, as a civilization. And learn more about how you can change your future, the future of the planet. Learn more about the God Particle. Go to bestaudiblebooks.com. Get the audible version or the print version or the ebook version. Can you afford not to know? Thank you for listening. May you live long and prosper.